Hi there, this is Amanda and I want to show you how you can add a hyperlink or a clickable link from your eBay auction through to your Buy It Now listing. And for example, you might want to put something in your auction listing like, can't wait for the auction to end, click here to buy it now. And in this example, the click here, which you can see in blue, will then link directly through to your Buy It Now listing. Now there are advantages to this. Firstly, um, you'll get immediate sales from those potential buyers who can't or perhaps won't wait for your auction to end. Secondly, it's going to encourage potential buyers to click through to your other listings because you don't have to link them to your buy it now. This is just the example that I'm giving. Um, and also, of course, sales made from your buy it now listing will appear uh, on your sales history for that listing and help your buy it now to rise up the search rankings, which is what you want because you want your buy it now listing to start appearing on page one or two. So you should use this strategy to kickstart sales on perhaps a new product, a new Buy It Now listing. You can also use it to help um, a brand new product get many more page views. Um, and of course, it will also entice potential buyers if you, if you want to uh, help them to look at your other products. Now the way to use this strategy is to run several auction listings for your product to ensure that your listings appear on page one as they near their end times. This is going to give them uh, extra um, exposure and so you're going to get more sales. But the trick is to run a buy it now listing at the same time as your auction listings for that product are running. So you run a buy it now listing for the same product with exactly the same keywords at the same time as your auctions because this will gain you immediate sales via your auction listings because people will link through to your buy it now listing. So here's how to add the link. First of all, you need to open the sell your item form as you would normally and complete all the sections. That's the title, a subtitle if you're adding one, um, add your images, and then when you reach the add a description part, insert your text as you would normally, just using the standard tab, and that's the default tab, so it will already be on standard when you reach the add a description part. What you need to do then is switch over to the HTML tab, um, and that's right next to the standard tab. You'll be able to see it, and I will give you a live example of this in just a moment, so um, you'll be able to see exactly uh, where these tabs are. Um, and then you scroll down the page until you reach the point in your description where you would like to insert um, a clickable link like the one uh, I've just talked about a moment ago. Then, um, once you've reached the spot where you'd like to insert this, you then put in the HTML code. Now, HTML code um, can look very confusing. Um, it looks like a load of old gobbledygook, um, and it is quite difficult to understand. Now, personally, I only know a little bit of HTML. I know enough to get by um, to be able to put links and things within my eBay listings. And that's all you need to know. Unless you're going to be doing some really, really um, complicated website or web programming, you don't need to know HTML. You just need to know the bits that matter. So you can see on the screen now the link that you will be adding into the HTML section. Um, now, you'll see that in red I've written insert your buy it now link here. That's the path that's going to be unique to you. Everything else stays exactly the same. Um, and you'll need to insert your buy it now link into that section. So here's how to find your buy it now link. You literally, it's very, very easy. You open your buy it now listing that you will already have set up. You copy the link to your Buy It Now from your browser bar. The browser bar is uh, the little uh, part where you would type in a web address normally at the top of your screen. And then you insert your own link into the HTML code where I've indicated in red. And you can see that again now below so that you know exactly where you're going to be putting your link. Now it's really important that you don't alter the rest of that link in any way. So leave everything else exactly uh, as I've typed it there.
So what I'll do now is, because I know it does sound rather complicated, but actually um, it's very, very simple when you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you now um, a live example of this. Okay, so here we are now uh, over on my test eBay account and you can see that I've set up an auction listing and I've also set up a buy it now listing. Um, and this is exactly how you will do it. You will have auction listings running and you will be linking those to your buy it now listings. So first of all, what we need to do is go into the auction listing and now if, you, if you're doing this as you set up, you won't need to revise your item, but that's the way I'm going to have to go into it because I've already set this up as a test. So I'm going to scroll down once I've reached this page to the section that says add a description, as you can see there. And you can see that the default tab is the uh, standard tab just up here over in the corner. And at the present time, we've got can't wait for the auction to end, click here to buy now, and that's just written text. But what I want to show you is the difference between that text um, and also when you change it into a clickable link. So the first thing we need to do, and remember this is on the auction listing, is to click on this HTML tab here. And this will bring up that little bit that I said will look like gobbledygook. And obviously there'll be a lot more of this in your listing because you will have already filled in your description. Then all we need to do is paste in that link that I showed you earlier on. The link, the big long link um, where you'll be inserting your own link to your Buy It Now listing. So I'm going to paste that in. And you can see that at the moment it says insert your Buy It Now link here. Um, and if we just click back to the standard option, you'll see that um, this doesn't really, this won't really do anything at the moment, okay? Um, and that's what we need to do. So I'm going to leave it on HTML, ready for when I come back to this. Now normally, you would also have your Buy It Now link readily available so that you could literally just take this section out and pop your own Buy It Now link in. But I want to show you where you can get your um, your Buy It Now link from. So for this example, I'm just going to continue and I'm going to submit my revisions like so. And then I'm going to go back to my eBay and I'm going to open up the Buy It Now link in my selling items so that you can see where the link comes from. So this time I'm going to open up this one, which again is also already running, okay, as a test. And up here, you can see that there is a link and that's in your browser bar. You literally need to copy that. Um, and then you need to go back to your um, auction listing it's a bit toing and froing, I'm afraid, because I want to show you exactly how to do it. Um, so you need to go back to our auction listing. Just scroll down and find that one. Open that one up again. I'm going to have to revise again because it is already running. And what we'll then do is we will pop the link into this section here where I had originally put insert buy it now link here so i'm going to paste that into there and now when we go back to standard you can see that it still looks the same however this will now be a clickable link and i'll show you how that works in just a moment but first of all i need to continue and then i need to save these revisions that i've made again so bear with me while i just do that submit revisions and what I'll do now is I'll actually look at the real listing. I'll view my listing online, which is this one. This is my auction listing. And I'll actually click through via the link so you can see it working. So um, you can see here that this is an auction listing starting bid one penny. Um, if we scroll down into the listing, you can see that... Um, sentence there that I've added in using that HTML code. If I hover over that, you can see that I get the, the little pointy hand, which means that it's a clickable link. And if I click, that will open a new page 
and you can see now that we've gone straight through to the buy it now listing at 99 pence. I'll just scroll down again to show you that this is a test listing. So that's how simple it is, but it's only simple if you have the HTML code uh, and you know what to do with it. Um, and so hopefully this will help you now because you can use this in all your listings. Um, and as I've said before, you don't have to link from an auction listing to a buy it now listing. You could link from a buy it now to an auction if you wanted to. Um, you could also list, uh, link to your uh, eBay shop if you wanted to. All you need to do is get the link that you want, to, the, the link of the page you want to go to from your browser bar up here. So you can see it is quite straightforward when you know how. So I hope um, that that's something that you'll want to put into practice uh, and use when you are listing new products or if you feel that you need to get some extra traffic to your Buy It Now listings.